basically, the coffee that we all drink um, emits between 15 and 20 ton of CO2 per ton of coffee. What's he saying? So we should all know that this is every time we drink coffee, we are basically putting CO2 into the atmosphere. What, what's he talking about? Um, the other, and one of the reasons is because most of the coffee plantation, or most of the coffee is produced through monoculture, and, um, and, and monoculture is also affected by climate change. Who put the WEF in charge of everybody? Who, nobody votes these people in. They, they just re rejects who get together and decide to fly to really nice places, eat really great food, take over towns and tell us how to live our lives. And now they want to ban coffee. They're actually pushing towards the fact that coffee causes CO2. Coffee's a plant. It's, it's like saying we've got to cut down the rainforest because that causes CO2. Of course it does. That's how we live. We breathe. We breathe air. Trees take in stuff and put out stuff. It, it, it's, it's, it's how life works. Uh, you just can't ban plants. <laughs> It's... So when the big bad flu went around and everybody was supposedly scared of going anywhere, like, like the saying here. It seems that the goal with you, of uh, this crowd is to, to kind of create the same panic about climate change that they successfully created around COVID. Do I have this wrong? No, you have it correct. I mean, first of all, we have to accept that the World Economic Forum is a fanatical political organization that uses fear and manipulation like COVID hysteria, like the hoax of global warming, to really facilitate people thinking that somehow they're the saviors, but really all you're doing is helping them accomplish their goal, which really is a global public-private fascist movement and fusion of big government, big tech, big money, to create a technocratic ruling elite, which conveniently is them. Now they're pushing the, uh, the big environmental thing that, oh, we, we can't do anything. We can't, we can't drive gas cars. We can't heat our homes. We can't do anything. And now, now, now we can't drink coffee because coffee is bad for the environment. But most of us learned photosynthesis synthesis in, <laughs> In school, <laughs> not all of us can say it, but most of us learn all about how plants work, that during the day, they take in CO2 and give out oxygen, and during the night, they breathe and let out CO2. It's like sweating. I think I put uh, something of it further down. But they perspire at night, and they give out oxygen during the day. You cannot get rid of plants. doesn't matter what plant it is. Coffee. Why coffee? Why suddenly say, oh, coffee? Because coffee, everybody drinks coffee. <laughs> and if you ban coffee, or if you put emphasis on coffee like this, it affects more people. If you said um, lettuce, <laughs> it's maybe not many people would be that bothered about somebody saying, you can't grow lettuce because at night it gives out CO2, or you can't grow asparagus. Because at night, asparagus gives out CO2. Every plant gives out CO2 at night. This is just scaremongering again. This is the way they work. They find something that's really popular, like gas cars, <laughs> and they say, yeah, let's change all that. Because we're the unelected people who cause all the BS around the globe. And we want to be in charge of all the governments, even though we're not elected. Thank you. Till next time.